morning. Welcome to the Minnesota Association of Realtors e-video resource. My name is Chris Galler. This morning we're going to talk about a new form that the Forms Committee is releasing. It's called a Short Sale Notice to Seller Form. There will also be another form they're working on to buyers later on, but the seller one is more important. This is a form you'll share with the seller at the time of listing or at the time you identify that this seller is going to be short of cash, unfortunately. What it's for is to make them aware of all the different steps and all the different things they need to do to cover themselves. As Realtors, we're not tax experts, we're not accountants, we're people that are going to help them in one of the largest sales of their life. But there are a number of consequences, whether or not the mortgage is going to be relieved or not later on, whether or not assets may be taken, especially with second and third mortgages out there. You should go online, take a copy of this form, and be familiar with the status of it. There are seven different risks and ramifications outlined. I'm going to go through them very quickly. One is failure to obtain approval from all lenders or creditors with a mortgage or lien against the property may prevent the sale from closing. Second, short sale approvals from all lenders slash creditors are time consuming, may delay closing, and may not be accomplished within expected timelines. We want to make sure that the consumer understands in a short sale, especially if they're in the redemption period, time is of the essence. And you're going to do your best to close it before the end of the redemption period, but if not, there's nothing you can do about that. Creditors will likely disclose of personal assets, financial records, including copies of tax returns to determine approval of a short sale. People entering into short sales should understand it's not automatic. If indeed they have the means to make the payments to keep the loan current, the mortgage company is not going to probably enter into a short sale. Or if they do, they may try and attach to other assets that the consumer has, and they're going to look at everything. The short sale may require the seller to pay some or all of the amounts owed after closing. Just because you go through a short sale doesn't mean that there might not be a bill later on. Seller's credit will be impacted in a normal short sale transaction. We don't want them coming back to you later on and saying, well, I thought if I did a short sale, I wasn't going to have credit implications. Seller may incur tax consequences as a result of the short sale. Right now, there's a provision in federal and state law to allow them to do it. But A, we don't know how long that provision is going to be there and we don't know that it's going to be effective in all situations. The approval of a short sale is never guaranteed. They may get general approval that yes, they can do it, but we want them to understand that until it closes, it's not a for sure sale. This form is out there. We again put in bold letters for them to consult the appropriate advisors. We ask for their signature at the bottom. You can find the form online with all of the other real estate forms that the Minnesota Association of Realtors Forms Committee puts together at www.mnrealtor.com. They're free for members. We hope you have a great week. Bye-bye.